Alexandria and I'm a consultant ecologist. I have my own company called Aquila Ecology and I'm based in St. Philans. So this work involves me doing professional surveys, looking at wildlife and habitat, usually to inform some kind of development, whether it's a woodland creation scheme or a housing scheme, for example, or even just a baseline survey to find out what's in a particular area. And as such, generally that does take me out into the beautiful countryside around here, all over Scotland, to wonderful locations just like here at uh, Inner Prefery Library. It took me quite a few years to come around to the realisation that this is actually what I wanted to do. I had many other jobs before in completely different fields, but it was actually whilst working behind a bar, they overheard a conversation about red kites and the fact that they'd been reintroduced into our area of Oxfordshire. And that just piqued my curiosity. And then one day I came downstairs in my house in Oxford, I opened the curtains and there was a red kite sitting at the end of the garden. And that was it. I just thought they were amazing birds. And it prompted me to do a bit of research about them, to learn about the birds and learn how they had come to be back in Oxfordshire and how the introduction scheme had come about. It made me sort of research into you know, is this something you could do a job in? Is, you know, what, what is this sector? And that's how I learnt about the world of conservation and the world of ecology um, and made the decision to retrain so that that's what I could do professionally. I decided to do a bit of voluntary work just to see if, if it was the right thing for me to do. I had a few days in Witchwood Forest where there was a project there. I volunteered at the Blue Cross um, Rescue Centre and when I actually did start my studies, I carried on volunteering with uh, the Children's Conservation Board because they had been involved in the Red Kite Reintroduction Project and also with a local RSPB reserve. So the two together, formal learning at university along with the sort of volunteer experience is what sort of bolstered my decision and also helped me gain skills for when I graduated. So today, for example, just having a little walk around the general area around Inner Peppery Library, I flushed wood cock out of the woodland, um, golden eye on the river as well which is lovely. This is quite interesting, it's obviously recently been dug by something, not quite sure what, um, but there's a few pheasant feathers there as well. Just looking around there's lots of little signs everywhere, whether it's a pallet, whether it's a scat. So uh, the gable end of, of the house here has actually got um, quite a few little entrances that bats, pipistrel bats use in the summer. So the loft space is used as a maternity roost in the summer. And we've done surveys and seen them coming out here, and obviously flying off to go foraging around, around the river and around the trees here. So it's just another little bit of wildlife that occurs here at Inner Peppery. Um, and it's a fantastic thing to watch on a nice summer evening. Wherever you look, there is, there is something to see, even in just a small area like this. Personally, I love working in the countryside and being outdoors. I think it, it's an ideal environment to be working in. But when I was at school, I don't think rural jobs were really discussed that much. It was more of the mainstream obvious ones in big sectors, but there's a whole plethora of jobs that are based in the countryside. And really, you just need to do your own research and think about what interests you once you've figured out what interests you, that then look to see if there's any careers that you could go into based on that interest. So, you know, it's just a really rewarding thing to do. 